kind of vibe. I got um, at number eight off Wiedersen, which is probably, again, Cheap Trick as, at one of their most punkest moments. Number seven, Voices, beautiful song. Number six, Stop This Game. Number five, L.O. Kitties, which, again, it's, it's a roaring debut for the band. What a way to kick off their career with such a phenomenal, like, Gary Glitter almost, uh, glam rock stomp. Number four, If You Want My Love. Number three, Surrender. Number two, Tonight It's You, and number one, Dream Police, which is the song that was my gateway track for Cheap Trick, so I can't deny it. And it's full of all the quirks, all the hooks, and basically everything that to me makes them such a fantastically celebrated band. Max, great stuff. Man, you, you just ripped it. That was awesome. Thank you. Uh, commentary along the way. Uh, we can't. Uh, you know, I let Max go because he he was going great there, and I wish I had time for everybody to do breakdowns of every song. So I'm going to have to go quicker just to get more people in. So when you guys get through, if you get through, literally just run them 20 through 1, please, because, you know, maybe one or two songs you want to single out, but uh, just for, in the interest of time. Max brought up a couple songs from the album Woke Up With A Monster, an interesting record for Cheap Trick, as he mentioned, produced by Ted Templeman. I also believe it's the only one that was on Warner Brothers. And the, the title track to that record was the single. And that is a great song. And Rick referenced earlier when they let me make their set list, which they actually played one time. And I did put that song in there. And I remember them telling me, uh, at the time that that was the song that I picked from their catalog for them to play that, that, that they hadn't played in the longest time and that they needed to kind of re recall a little bit, but that was a single. That was a pretty big single at the time that record came out. Here's Dan in Delaware. Hey, Dan. Hey, Eddie. Thanks for taking my call. Um, I'm not going to read the whole 20. You did a great job. Mine's very close to yours. I'm just going to call out a couple I had included that you did not. And those were those, couple of early 80s soundtrack tunes, Reach Out from the Heavy Metal soundtrack, and Everything Works with you If You Let It, which is always one of my favorite tunes. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that, all right, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Dan not wanting to read his full list because he said, I guess it's pretty similar to mine, with the exception of those songs. So thank you, Dan. That'll move it quicker. Here's Tony in North Carolina. Hey, Tony. Hey, Eddie. How's it going? Good, man. Let's hear him. Okay, so let's start with my honorable mention, which is Ain't That Shame from Budokan, of course. And number 20, Woke Up With A Monster. 19, there you go again. Everything Works If You Let It. 18, High Priest of Rhythmic Noise from All Shook Up. 17, Avita Zane. 16, Mandicello from the first record. Mm -hmm. 15, Take Me On Yours. 14, Stop This Game. 13, Dream Police. 12, Way of the World, 11, Clock Strikes 10, 10, Hot Love, 9, 8 Miles Low from the Great 97 record, um, at 8, we have Such a Good Girl, 7, So Good to See You, 6, Look Out, 5, Need Your Love, let's see, uh, 4, World's Greatest Lover, 3, We Have Surrendered, Budokan Virgin, of course, Two, gonna raise hell, and number one on top of the world. Wow, on top of the world at number one. Interesting. Thank you, Tony. All right, we're like six lists in now, five or six lists in, and we have not had one person with Cheap Trick's biggest song, I Want You to Want Me. And by the way, and this is not unexpected with my crowd. Nobody had, has had The Flame yet either, which was also probably chart-wise the biggest song of their career. Surrender showing, but I Want You to Want Me is over right now on the list we've taken. That's remarkable. But, it, but again, not shocking giving, given my audience being you know, hardcore rock fans and that song maybe being discounted a little bit for whether it's its popularity, which again, you never want to penalize songs for being popular. But I think the other thing with that song is if you ever heard the studio version, it's radically different. And that was the version that was not the hit. So the Budokan version is the one everybody knows, but still uh, that should have nothing to do with it. It's really surprising. We haven't had that yet. We'll see how it goes the rest of the way. Here's John in New York. Go ahead, John. Hey, Eddie, thanks for taking my call and for this 
Cheap Trick Top 20, probably probably the only power pop band that you'll ever do one on. Okay, here's my top 20. Number 20, Cover Girl. 19, Stop This Game. 18, Cold Turkey, the John Lennon cover. Awesome cover that they did of that song. 17, Stiff Competition. 16, Next Position Please. 15, Mandicello. 14, Heaven's Falling. 13, Need Your Love, the live version. 12, Just Got Back. 11, The House is Rockin' with Domestic Problems. 10, So Good to See You. Number 9, I Know What I Want. 8, Hot Love. 7, Hello There. 6, He's a Whore. 5, Downed. Four, Come On, Come On, the live version from Budokan. Three, Surrender. Number two, Taxman, Mr. Thief. And number one, Off Wiederson. Always brings the house down when they play it live. Thank you, John. Again, we are still 0-4 on I Want You to Want Me. Amazing. Downed is making a nice early... Uh, presence felt, if you will. We had somebody earlier just had Gonna Raise Hell, which of course is like a nine and a half minute song and a big showcase for Tom Peterson as well. That came up, that of course originally from Dream Police, so that's interesting to see that creep in a little bit. Come on, come on is in there. Uh, who will be the first to include I Want You to Want Me? Will it be Tony in Florida? Let's find out. Tony's list now. Hey, Tony. Eddie, let me go ahead and screw it up for you here. Um, I appreciate you taking the call and everything you do for rock. Uh, I first saw Cheap Trick in 77 and haven't stopped. Just a killer band. Here we go. Number 20, Clock Strikes 10. Number 19, Stiff Competition. Number 18, Can't Stop It But I'm Gonna Try. Number 17, California Man. Number 16, She's Tight. 15, Southern Girls. 14, I Want You to Want Me, the live version from Budokan. There you go. 13, Such, 13, such a Good Girl. 12, Off Peterson. 11, I Can't Take It. Number 10, Hot Love. Number 9, This Time Around from Standing on the Edge. Number 8, Speak Now or Forever Hold Your Peace. Number 7, Stop This Game. Number 6, Surrender. Number five, everything works if you let it. Number four, can't stop falling into love. Number three, reach out. Number two, he's a whore. And number one, on top of the world. Thanks for taking the call, Ed. Thank you, Tony. So you, I think that was McCready's number one on top of the world. Tony in Florida, let the record show, <laughs> is the first person to have I Want You to Want Me and have the live version of that song. Something else Tony mentioned in there, too, that I wanted to comment on, and I, I, I forgot. Uh, I got I to gotta start writing notes as people run stuff down because there's things that are hitting me as they're talking. Oh, speak now or forever hold your peace. If you listen to my countdown yesterday, I and Joel played basically all studio versions, and I and that's my fault because I didn't uh, signify whether they should be live or studio. And speak now came up when we had Rick on a little earlier. So... That song, as I said yesterday, studio version, first album, fine, real good. The version I love is the version they did at Budokan, and you might be saying, what are you talking about? That's not on Budokan. It is, but it's on the expanded edition. Like I was saying yesterday, when they did Budokan, they obviously played as a headline more than those songs on that single record, and they were cut off to make it a single record at the time. Over the years, Budokan's been reissued, the other half of it, and then they sequenced it all together, which is the version I love the best. It's a double CD. So if you have the full expanded, full concert from Budokan, you know that they actually did speak now at that show, and that live version of it on, Bud on the uh, expanded Budokan is fantastic. That's my preferred version of that song. I'm surprised that I'm still the only one so far, and we're early into this, who has had Baby Loves to Rock. I love that record, and we talked. a few people called in about all shook up stuff. I, I love that record. I love Baby Loves to Rock. I think that's a killer, killer song. All right. Break. 
We have another hour of Cheap Trick 20s coming up. Stick around. Yesterday with my 20 songs run down and today with your lists and folks calling in with their lists. We just had Charlie Benanti on earlier from Anthrax. Rick Nielsen himself was on earlier talking about many of these great songs. Sebastian Bach is texting me as we speak. Uh, okay. Yeah, Sebastian's going to call with his list, which should be entertaining and energetic for sure. <laughs> He's going to be charged up for this because he loves Cheap Trick like everybody else. So get ready for Sebastian Bach in 15 minutes calling in his Cheap Trick 20. He has been working on it. He's been telling me for like the last week or so. So get ready for that. Uh, we'll see if McCready makes it in before the end of the show. Otherwise, I'll read his list and whoever else we can squeeze in here. Again, we got tomorrow to play with as well. Let's go to the phones again and bring in Charlie from New Jersey with his top 20. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. I, oh, hey, uh, Ed, how you doing? Uh, okay, I'm going to break uh, at least two of the damn ticks that you have for some of those songs that haven't shown up. So I'm going to hit it with number 20, The Flame. Number 19, Miss Tomorrow the, from the latest. Number 18, Decaf. Number 17, I Want You to Want Me, the Bubicon version. Number okay. 16, I Don't Love Her Anymore. Number 15, Speak Now and Forever Forward Your Peace. It was the studio version, but I just heard the Budokan version, so I'm putting that one in for uh, number 15. If You Want My Love, number 14. Number 13 is a brand new date name and an old tattoo from the last album. Number 12 is Big Eyes. Number 11 is She's Tight. Number 10 is Voices. Number 9, Mandicello. Number 8, Need Your Love, number seven, Tonight It's You, number six, Our Feeder Zane, number five, Dream Police, number four, Surrender, number three, Reach Out from the Heavy Metal soundtrack, number two is one that I even heard, I Must Be Dreaming from the same Heavy Metal soundtrack, and my number one, Gonna Raise Hell, which is what I do every day. <laughs> it sounds like you got a kid back there raising hell on you right now. Oh, I got my two twins. They just got vaccinated. We're all vaccinated. That's, uh, I just, that's one thing I got away. And this list is another thing. Just like Don James says, that's my list. All others, you can just surrender. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate it. Charlie with the TMS reference there. Thank you, Charlie. Amanda Cello coming up quite a bit now. And... Uh, tonight it's you seemingly a staple i thought that that was i, I thought that was going to be a little of, of a sleeper of mine in that i didn't think that many people would have had it but it seems like just about everybody has it at some spot and usually pretty high up and reach out from the heavy metal soundtrack coming up a lot interesting let's go to dave in california hey dave hey i think nice to talk to you again you too dave uh, okay, let's do this. Uh, number 20 uh, from the new record, In Another World, The Summer Looks Good on You. Number 19, It's Only Love from The Doctor. Number 18, Never Had a Lot to Lose from uh, Lap of Luxury. 17 is Can't Stop Falling in Love from uh, Busted. Number 16 is Hello Kitties from the first album, Cheap Trick. Uh, 15, Sick Man of Europe, great song from the late. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's what I mean. Well, let, me, let me just jump in real quick there, Dave. That That's what I kept meaning by when I said yesterday, putting in the most recent, one of the two most recent Cheap Trick singles yesterday to open my list, light up the fire. I didn't just do that because... I, I truly think it's a great song, and I've heard the whole record, and I truly do love the record, but I did it more as a nod to some acknowledgement of, like I said yesterday, the last 30 years of Cheap Trick. You're always, my audience, everyone with every band's going to gravitate to that early stuff that they remember as a kid and that they grew up with, 70s, mid-80s. But the, the Cheap Trick's one of those rare examples of a band that still has made really quality music. So I, I couldn't have the space to do something from all of the last few records. But I want by me including the latest single, it was just a way to make more of an overall nod to the whole last few decades because they've been great. Oh, uh, that there's always been one song from every studio record that I just love and continually listen to on a playlist. You know, it's. Just they, they're very consistent with that. You know, it's really great. Uh, number 14 was Long Time Coming from We're All Right. Uh, number 13 from uh, It's Perfect Stranger from Rockford. Uh, 12 is Just Got Back from All Shook Up. Number 11, On Top of the World from Heaven Tonight. Number 10 is She's Tight from One on One. Number 9, uh, Woke Up with a Monster. Great song. Number 8, uh, Tonight It's You from Standing on the Edge. Another great song, I love this. Number seven is When I Wake Up Tomorrow from uh, Bang Zoom Crazy Hello. Uh, number six, Son of a Woman from Special One. Number five, Dream Police. Uh, number four, a deep album cut that probably not a lot of people are familiar with unless you're a super fan, but it's called Shelter from the self-titled song uh, album from 1997. Great song, a little haunting vocal from Robin, but it is just a great song. Uh, number three, of course, Surrender, the Budokan uh, version. Number two, almost was my number one, Down, from In Color. And my number one, the perfect pop pop uh, rock song from these guys, I Can't Take It, from Next Position, Please. Now, now, Dave, tell me if I'm correct here. Did what? Did you just do a 20 with one song from all 20 of the records? I was hoping you wouldn't notice that, Ed. <laughs> but you did, right? I did. Like I said before, these guys, I've been a fan since 77. Every record comes out. Some of it, you know, like everybody. I don't like every song. But there is right. at least one song from every album that is just kick-ass. And I love it. Dave, I got to tell you, I, that's amazing that you did that. I just, I think that's really, really cool. I mean... It was an interesting approach because this is one of the bands that, ironically, that would match up. 20 songs, their 20th record comes out on, on Friday. So that's that's really cool that you did that. So basically, you took your favorite song from the 20 records that they've done. Pretty much. And I, I put this on a playlist, and I've been listening to it last couple of days, and I haven't got tired of it. Wow. Wow. God's getting creative, Dave. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, Eddie. All right. Dave in California taking a unique approach here, which I just figured out as he ran back that list. Cheap Trick's 20th album is out this Friday. He included something from that because there's two singles out already. And then he put a song from each record right down the line. That's a pretty cool approach. I think that's a really unique thing to do. Put a little thought into that for sure. It's hard to do. Because when you get to records like Heaven Tonight, In Color, Dream Police, there's probably so many songs on there you'd love to include that you have to leave off if you're going to try to do that. But it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a cool thing to attempt, that's for sure. Let's go to Texas. Here's James. Hey, James. Hey. Hey, thanks, Eddie, for taking my call. Love you, buddy. Uh, here's my Thank list. Uh, I just ate a plate of California almonds, too, so I'm going to talk to <laughs> Here we go. Uh, We're having some fun 20. with our friends at Almonds today, that's for sure. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, go no, ahead. Let's yeah, hear it, James. Got a stiff competition. Uh, Nineteen. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Eighteen. Eau Claire, and that's the little bitty piece on Heaven Tonight. Uh, at the very end of that record. Uh, Seventeen. Voices. Sixteen. Way of the World. Fifteen. Hot Love. Fourteen. Hello Kitties. Thirteen. I'll be with you tonight. 12, Gonna Raise Hell, 11, Taking Me 
back, which uh, that song just so Beatlesque. Uh, it's just so hooky, you can't get it out of your head. Uh, at number ten, off you sign. Um, and just to, just to preface real quick, I'm 50, and everybody should tell you what, what their age is because it, it'll skew their list every time. Every time I listen yeah. to these names, it, it skews the list. So anyway, yeah. So I was 10 in 1980. So I, I can remember the girl who asked me, "Hey, um, do, we, what, do you know who Cheap Trick is?" And I went straight to the mall. Um, okay, uh, number nine, uh, Need Your Love, the live version of Budokan. Uh, eight, If You Want My Love. Seven, Downed. Six, Dream Police. Five, I Can't Take It, which is Robin's only solo writing credit, which I think is really crazy. That, that song is uh, so good. Uh, Surrender, is, um, number four. Number three, The Flame. Number two, Tonight It's You. And um, number one, it's, uh, it's one of those songs that's just an iconic moment in time, and very few bands ever get a song that is just a moment in time. And that's number one for me is I Want You to Want Me, and it's a Budokan Live version. So you had I Want You to Want Me, you had Surrender, right? Yep, Surrender. Yep. And you had, did you, you had The Flame? Did you have The Flame or no? I had the I had the flame at number three, and it's just I mean it's another song. It's a number one hit all around the world. It's just hard to do, even though they didn't write it. I don't mind it. It's just I never get tired of that song. And, and yeah, I, so I'm, you, I'm you heavy, the three I'm big heavy ones. on the '80s, so yeah, yeah, you know. So it's the flame is really up there for me. Yeah, it's amazing to me, and thank you, James. And it makes sense when James says he's heavy on the '80s too that this is included. But I am really. In the early going here, my big takeaway is how many people ha love Tonight It's You. I, I always thought, again, I thought Tonight It's You was going to be a little bit more of an outlier here. I did not think it was going to be on almost everyone's list and very high up. I always loved that song, but I just didn't feel that it, would, it held that stature with a lot of other fans to make the 20, and I'm really thrilled to see that it's showing up so prominently and it's interesting if you tuned in late by all means go listen on the app or listen on the replay tonight because rick nielsen was on with us at the start of the show today and when i brought that song up to him he was talking about writing it and the last part that came to him was the the, the heavier part i don't know the, and he was saying that that was the last thing that came to him and that is one of my favorite parts of that song, that, that song, it's so brilliant how they do it because it captures everything that's great about Cheap Trick in the one four minute song. You've got the melody, you've got the breakdown, you've got the Beatles part, and then you've got the slashing heavy guitar riffs. And, and that's Cheap Trick in a nutshell. I'm also surprised, speaking of songs that I'm surprised showing up so much, something that has yet to show up except for on my list is Baby Loves to Rock. And I think that's a forgotten one. I really do feel that's a bit of a sleeper. Let's get Larry in Oklahoma in real quick here. He's been waiting since the start and then we'll take a break and we should have Sebastian Bach shortly with his list. Go ahead, Larry. Hey, Eddie, so one thing, I, you know, we talked about Cheap Trick and how they they crossed over with everybody. I mean, the first time I saw them was with Saxon and Aldo Nova. You know, so, I mean, and, and they never fell out of the cool group. You know how Kiss fell out of the cool group? Cheap Trick never really, that I noticed, fell out of the cool group. You know? Yeah. And, Cheap also, Trick's but, always just you know, been Cheap Trick. They never got, we talked about this the other day, too. I mean, they just, they're not, they weren't tabloid people. They weren't running around back in the day with with Hollywood starlets, they weren't in the gossip columns. They, they're just you know, regular dudes yeah. from the Midwest who make amazing music. They never rode that roller coaster like the other bands. Yeah. Seem like. But uh, 20 is If It Takes a Lifetime from Rockford. Uh, 19 is Don't Be Cruel. I haven't heard that one. I know it's a, re it's a redone. Uh, 18 is Light Up the Fire, which is on the new one. 17, Gonna Raise Hell. 16, Ain't That a Shame, um, Budokan. 15, Surrender, Budokan. 14, I Can't Take It. 13, Big Eyes, uh, Budokan. 12, Woke Up, I'm sorry, 12, Woke Up With a Monster. 11, I Want You to Want Me. 10, Way of the World. 9, Voices. 8, everything, everything Works If You Let It. 7, Tonight It's You. 6, He's a Whore. 5, The Flame. 4, If You Want My Love. 
three, reach out, heavy metal. Now, this one, she's tight. I was hoping this would have been on somebody's top five that you were talking to earlier, because I've always wondered, I mean, is this song about the obvious, or, or is there an alternate meaning in this? But two is she's tight, you know. <laughs> I'll have to ask Rick the I, next time, yeah. <laughs> you know, because it's about the obvious, I mean, you know. Uh, no, I, I always took it, I, Larry, I always took it as um, she's tight, like, together, like, you know, she's happening. If you re if you hear the lyric, she's ahead of her time, she's tight, you know, I'm sure it's a double entendre, but I think the, the lyric is written about somebody who, you know, you look at their clothing or you see the way they look, hey, they're tight, you know, they look tight. Her head's, her head's on tight, not, not necessarily it's down tight, but it's actually tied on good, I guess, with what he's saying. Right. Uh, <laughs> and then one is uh, Dream Police, I think, is the ultimate song. So, Thank you, Larry. Appreciate it. So she, She's Tight and Baby Loves to Rock, as I said yesterday on my list, are two very similar songs, I think, in the way they are structured. And I love them both. Uh, Larry with the flame. Now we're starting to see the flame pop up. I'd say we're getting more of the flame than I want you to want me. We had a couple I want you to want me's. I want you to want me's. We maybe had three or four flames so far. To me, those are that's really beyond all the deeper tracks that people may throw in. That's always really interesting to see where my crowd places the hits or if they include them at all. And for me, on my list yesterday, I had certainly Surrender at one. And I'm not, I might be off on this, but I'm not getting a lot of Surrender, it doesn't feel like. And If You Want My Love is just a phenomenal song. And what a, what a hook from one-on-one -on -one from 82. Not showing up as much as I thought, although it has a couple times. All right, quick break. We'll come back. It looks like Sebastian is up next. He's on the hotline. We're going to get him on in a second. Sebastian Box, 20 greatest cheap trick songs. Our next uh, celebrity call in as we continue on the Trunk Nation Top 20 cheap trick after this. people to reach out to me when we announced Cheap Trick as the latest top 20 is Sebastian Bach, who is a huge fan and has been working on a list, and we are welcoming him to the show right now to hear his 20 greatest Cheap Trick songs in order. Baz, how are you, brother? Yes. Hey, buddy, what's going on? I know you are excited to do this. I know you've been working on it for like a week or so now. I don't know if you were listening at the start, but Rick Nielsen called in, and he is listening, so he'll, he'll be critiquing your list, I'm sure, as you read wow. it Wow. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's amazing, man. Well, I, I, I got to play with Cheap Trick uh, like a, two years ago in Florida, and they got me on stage to do uh, California Man with them, and it was one of the highlights of my life, and um, I'm also fortunate enough to be able to play in a band with Robin Zander called Kings of Chaos, and I know this doesn't qualify for the list, but you've never heard the song I Remember You until you've heard Robin Zander sing it. <laughs> really? He, <laughs> he, he does it, huh? Oh, yeah, he does. Oh. I Remember You with me in the show, and with Kings of Chaos, and he does the chorus in his own melodic style, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, as a fan and as a musician, and, and just, it's crazy. But I, I don't think that qualifies for our list today. And, and I No, really no, but hard. I'm going to look that up online. I got to hear that. Oh, it's nuts. He does it incredible in his own style. And, and, you know, we do it in the original keys, of course, no tapes at all. And, and it's all 
Well, real. I listened to your show yesterday, and um, you really it blew me away with some of your choices. Uh, basically, the song "Tonight It's You" is one of the most insane vocal performances I've ever heard. And your story about saying, "Hey, can you do this tonight?" And he's like, "Yeah, no problem." But <laughs> Well, I talked to Rick. Well, Baz, I talked to Rick about that earlier in the show today, and when because that song's coming up so much, and I said that to yeah. Rick, I said, you know, it's insane that you've got a singer who's just like, yeah, I'll do that one, no problem. And and Rick's like, yeah, he goes, I I I'm thankful every night that whatever we throw out, he's like, yeah, I'll do it. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it's uh, you know, when I was a kid. I, I'm from Canada, and everybody knows uh, in the history of Cheap Trick, they say that uh, Live at Budokan was platinum in Canada before it came out in America. And that's the what Cheap Trick ruled my town when I was a kid. And, I, you know, I can go into it all, but I, I'll probably say it in, in the list. And, and I, I could have easily did 25 songs, um, no problem. But we had to cut it down to 20. <laughs> right, it's that's hard the rules. They got so I many know. great songs. So many great I know. songs. So All let's right. hear it. Start at 20. Let's hear last it. Last night, uh, going through my collection, making sure my order was as correct as possible. <laughs> uh, Attention to detail. No, totally. Totally. <laughs> and I did tweak it. Listening to uh, my albums and my CDs because we're also gonna, I'm also going to tell you what source I, I chose <laughs> from because I think that's important. Maybe it's not, but it is to me. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. All right, you ready, dude? Yep. Okay, coming in at number 20. This was an addition from last night because I was listening to the, all the whole catalog. And um, when I put on Budokan, side two, the beginning intro of Ain't That a Shame, Ain't That a Shame is a cover, of course, but the intro when side two kicks in is so electric that it, it freaks you out. The sound of Bunny Carlos drums, the, I, I think the intro that they play, it's like a minute long. Is uh, is their own creation. I'm not. I, I'm pretty sure they came up with that. It's not part of the cover, and right. it it just sums up the moment when you go to a show and the lights go down and the band is about to hit the stage. You know, we, you know what it goes from everybody hanging out and ha having fun, and then blackness, and then right. oh, you're like, what's going on? And that moment of ain't that a shame sums that that feeling up just perfectly to me so i had to put that on that's number 20 okay okay so number 19 yesterday you were saying that your record that you love is in color and you had all the songs from the whole album on your list, right. which is funny right. and i get that but my record for cheap trick like that is Heaven Tonight. That's mine. That's an album that the vocals, the production, the riffs, the songs, is, is just flawless to me. And when I was doing Broadway, I would play that album like in its entirety as I was getting ready for the show and, and turned on so many of these people, you know, onto Cheap Trick and, and rock and roll and um, but 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 uh, my number nineteen, the first one of many from Heaven Tonight is High Roller. Yeah. Um, basically, because of the harmonies that Robin pulls off in this song, in, in the chorus, it's just nuts. Uh, once again, and he's a, a lot of my songs. That, huh? That's a rare song. That's a rare song where Robin is a co-writer on, on High Roller. Ooh. That's the writing on that is is Rick, Tom, and Robin. Because uh, somebody wow. called in earlier. There's only one Cheap Trick song that Robin is the sole writer of. I forget which one he said. And then there's a few where you know it's it's more of a band thing than just Rick. And that's one of those more band tracks. But that is a great song. 
It really is. And and just the, the singing and the chorus just is like the Beach Boys or something. Like it's like nuts. Yeah. All right, here's 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 one you're not gonna be expecting. But you know what? I listened to your your thesis that uh <laughs> <laughs> you know, most fans are going to gravitate toward the 70s songs, and I understand what you're saying, but I'm going to throw up the thesis. In the case of a band like Rush, when the band doesn't exist anymore, kind of, all that kind of stuff kind of goes out the window. Like, in the entire career of Rush, everybody has said, oh, I don't, I, I prefer... 2112, the, the band sound to like Grace Under Pressure with the keyboards. But now that there is no rush, nobody's complaining about anything. It's all good. Everybody collects it. And in my experience as a fan of Cheap Trick, they made a record. It's called The Latest. Yeah. And I think it is for me just as good in every way as all of their records. And I was doing a show, a TV show, called Celebrity Fat Club. Oh, wait, Celebrity Fit Club. Um, <laughs> when that record came out. And I, you know, was working out on the treadmill all the time and obviously, like, you know, listening to music. And that was my favorite record of those years. I, I, I don't even remember when it came out or whatever, but... 2009. Uh, if you're not familiar with Cheap Trick, the latest, it's mind-blowing. The sound is produced by Chris Ward, Algae, or Mixed. I think it's produced by the band. But one song on it, every time I heard it, just pretty much dropped me to my knees, melodically... Uh, vocally, it's called Everybody Knows, and it's a very deep cut, but I guarantee you, if you check it out, you'll hear what I'm saying. It's mind-blowing. And I had other songs from that record that didn't make well, the Sick, list, but Sick that Man album... Of Europe, Sick Man of Europe is a great song on that record. Oh, and, yeah. And the pro, our program director of this channel, who's going to call in his list after yours, or I'm going to read it, he actually has on his 20, the last song on that record, Smile. I had that on mine if it was top 21. <laughs> 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 and also another song called Miracle I had on my list that I had to take off, but the song Miracle showcases Robin's lower register and his low voice is just as killer as his high voice in his mid-range and um that album will not let you down and i have another song from that album coming up on my list believe it or not but if you've never checked it out uh check out the song everybody knows it's it's incredible i don't know what to tell you it's just as good as as heaven tonight it is Oh, there, fight me. <laughs> I'm not, but yeah, I, got, I, got, I, got, guess what? I got it. Guess what? Sorry, sorry, what? No, I was going to say, I got to move you along only because I got so many people trying to get through right okay. now, and I love all this stuff, but I got to okay. hear your list before I got to hit a break. You got it. Okay, so I want to tell you that the only copy I have of Cheap Trick, the latest, is CD, and I enjoyed a night last night of listening to the CD, so I want you to know that. Hey, okay, real quick, 17. I have it on, Baz, Baz, I have it on 8-track. <laughs> I do. I swear to God, they put it out on 8-track. So you like 8-track more than vinyl? <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm, but I'm saying.